Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be looking at human resource management strategies, uh, focusing on recruitment. So let's start with recruitment. Now, recruitment is the process of locating and attracting the right quantity and quality of staff to apply for employment vacancies or anticipated vacancies at the right cost. So what that really means is needs to be beneficial cost-wise in terms of trying to locate and attract the right people for uh, employment vacancies. Now, effective recruitment and selection allows the most appropriate applicant to be selected. The most visible aspect of the recruitment process that you, you might be familiar with is a job advertisement. Um, now, recruitment of a diverse workforce is becoming more important um, in communicating effectively with a very wide customer base and in demonstrating CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility, which is very highly valued by consumers and employees. You're seeing as being much more inclusive, much more diverse, reflecting what the world really is like. Um, so in terms of internal and external recruitment, um, internal recruitment involves filling job vacancies uh, with people from within the business. Now, internal recruitment sources uh, sources include employees, uh, former applicants, former employees, and they may be invited to apply through intranet postings, staff records, promotion lists, word of mouth, email, and other methods. Employee referrals are popular uh, when, accompanied, uh, when accompanied by an employee bonus and useful for bringing in staff that already have the right cultural fit. Um, we also have external recruitment. Now this involves filling job vacancies with people from outside the business. External recruitment employees uh, may be uh, obtained through the more traditional methods such as newspaper adver uh, advertisements, online advertisements and referrals uh, through recruitment agencies, uh, company websites, trade unions, trade shows, management networks, professional associations, schools, radio and television. Um, in terms of recruitment, we also need to look at general or specific skills. You know, what do you want? What do you need? Can you have both? So, in terms of general skills, um, key general skills include things such as flexibility and versatility, social confidence, uh, positive attitude, motivation, ability to work as part of a team or even independently, uh, leadership, decision-making styles, willingness to learn, and ability to work under pressure. Now, general skills are important because many jobs today require individuals to work independently and undertake many different tasks. General skills, therefore, are not as narrowly defined as in the past, and they are generally more service-oriented, making social and information skills increasingly important. Such skills are necessary not only to gain employment, but also to progress within a business. Uh, we also then have specific skills. Now, most businesses are concerned about skill shortages um, and still need to target employees uh, with specific skills to fill gaps in their business. Now, for example, uh, for the need for chefs, skilled, uh, skilled tradespersons, building professionals, engineers is very well known. There's a significant shortage developing in uh, the more highly skilled and professional areas, including specialist project management skills. Now, industry for many years has been critical of Australian firms for not investing in training their staff um, for you know, any changes in organisational structures or for what they really need in their workforce. They believe that a greater part of the load needs to be shouldered by those companies that are complaining that they don't have enough skilled workers. So really, it comes down to um, should companies be developing their own staff, their own workers to have skills, or should they be outsourcing or contracting in order to get those skills? So I hope this brief video on recruitment has been useful. Uh, the next video will be looking at training and development and performance management. Thank you.